Just come to the presence of the Lord right now and just take a moment right now and just say, Lord, you are all our need. Amen. Lord, you are all we need in our Amen. life. You are alone are worthy of our prayer and wor worthy of our worship. Amen. Just talk, talk to the Lord right now. And on this New Year celebration and the New Year time, let's just especially, especially pray for our family. That we have a greater relationship with God. That we will love God more and more for every day of our life. Amen. That our children will love God. Serve God. That our children also worship God together with us. And everywhere that we go, that we see that hearts open to receive Amen. the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. When you and I worship Him. When you and I declare His grace and mercy. When you and I begin to trust in His power. Amen. When you and I continue to Amen. trust in the unfailing love of God. When you and I begin to look for and search for and waiting for His love to be expressed through our life. Amen. So just take a moment right now and just pray to the Lord. Pray for someone. Pray for something that God has given you the burden to pray for. Dear Heavenly Father, we just come to you right now. And Lord, we dedicate our life into your hand. Lord, we invite your Holy Spirit to come into this place. Lord, we open our heart and invite the blood of Jesus to cover us and to cleanse us from all of our impurity, iniquities, and our sin. Lord, make us home and draw us nearer into your presence. Lord, we just call upon you. You are the air, the air that we breathe. And may your Holy Presence continue to feel in our life. Feel this place, Lord. Feel this house of yours. And especially feel this temple of yours, which is our body as a place and sacrifice that we can give to you. And we can glorify your name through our life. Lord, is there any sins? Is there any hatred? Is there any vengeance thought in our life? Father, we pray that you're going to cleanse us right now and help us overcome all of our evil thoughts and its desire and draw us nearer to you, Father. This is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. Your holy presence live in me. Live in me. This is my daily bread. This is my daily bread. Your very word spoken to me. Say this is there. This is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. Your holy presence live is my daily bread. Your every word spoken to me.
this song. Let's just imagine an image of a fish without the water. That when you and I can take that fish out of the water, and the fish try to crack the air in order to survive, and he's longing. The only thing in that moment of life is that the fish just want to jump back into the river so that it can be restored. It can swim once again. And that's also the metaphor of our relationship with God. God is our air. The thing that we cannot have in our life if we don't want to survive. The air is the only thing that you and I can survive, and God is always the only thing, the reason for you and I to survive, the reason that we live for Him. And as we sing this song once again, let us reflect: Is there anything that draws us away from His presence? Is there anything that draws us away from His protection? Is there anything that draws us away from the meaning and the purpose of life that God has given to us? Is there anything that draws us away to experience His power and love again and again, His witness again and again, His grace again and again, His mercy again and again? Is there anything that draws us from the necessity of the air, which is our God, and that make our life be choked? And we are not fruitful anymore. It makes our lives to become saddened. And we don't have the joy anymore. Just come to God right now, and then declare once again, Lord, You are all we need. Lord, You are all I need. You are the air that I breathe. This is the air I breathe. This is the air. Your holy presence living in me. This is my daily bread. This is my.
Give us clean hands, give us pure hearts. Let us not leave our soul to another. Give us clean hands, give us pure hearts. Let us not leave our soul.